All right, so for this next episode of my moto vlog, I thought I'd change up the backdrop a little bit. So I scouted this little area down here. I kind of wanted to check it out a little bit as I ride around and talk. But basically for this episode of my moto vlog, what I wanted to talk about was... So what got me into motorcycles, really? So for those of you who've known me for a while, you know that I'm a huge car guy. I love cars. All kinds of cars. Exotics, tuners, muscle cars. And, uh... Motorcycle, it's sort of been one of those things for me where it was on the back burner the whole time. I grew up, obviously I grew up in the desert, so, you know, dirt bikes are pretty much a part of uh, every young kid's uh, childhood. Uh, I even had a go-ped, which is about the closest thing I have ever had to a street bike <laughs> until I got this. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's turn left up here. Um, but basically, I'd always wanted a street bike. I just, you know, things always came up, like... I, I didn't have the money for the longest time to get a motorcycle. Then I did have the money, but then stuff kept coming up. I kept having to spend it on other things. Or, uh... I kept wanting to spend it on other things, like modding my car and whatnot. Ugh! Jeez. So... It was one of those things where since I hadn't really gotten into it before, uh, it, I, I didn't realize what I was missing, so I just kind of left it on the back burner for the longest time. And uh, more recently, let's see if I can get in here. Gate has responded to IFF code. Like a mouse. Nice. So this is a nice New Year neighborhood. Look at this. Oh my God! Look at the size of these houses. Holy crap! Look at that one. <laughs> I think like five of my houses can fit in the garage. Of this one. Woohoo! Look at that house. They got fans on the outside, really? Mother Nature's winds aren't strong enough for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put fans on the outside of my house because that's how I roll. I tell you, man. <laughs> and look, look at this guy on the right. His driveway goes right up to his house from the circle, from the roundabout. His, his driveway goes right, up, right into the middle of the roundabout. That's crazy. More stuff over that way. I'm just gonna keep cruising through here. I'm gonna check out all this area, and you're gonna check it out with me. Yeah, this area is completely different. I like it. Uh oh. IFF not accepted. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go this way then because that gate was closed. And I don't know if this street even goes through. It looks like it stops here. Oh, yeah, it goes around in a big circle. And is that a hiking trail? Let's see, what does it say? There's a sign right there. It says, This area is private property, not a public park. Access is restricted to residents of <laughs> Preserve. I kind of feel like I'm just inches away from getting a 6 Wanna Star level, so let's go ahead and get out of here before they call in the tanks and helicopters. So as I was saying, uh, motorcycling, at least on the roads, has kind of been something on the back burner for a while. And I kind of wrote it off as, uh, m m one day it might be nice to do. Uh, more recently, I happened to see a dirt bike for sale in uh, one of the local auto parts stores, which kind of got me interested again. Uh, at first, just to get a dirt bike, another dirt bike, because I haven't had one since I was a kid. And then I said, you know what, why stop there? Why not get something I can ride every single day legally out on the street? So I started looking into street bikes again, and there were so many to choose from. Uh, I actually poured through like hours and hours and hours of reviews and moto vloggers, you know, talking about their bikes online and uh, all this stuff. Well, look at this backyard over here. It's actually got, <laughs> it's actually got a rock face. That'd be great if you wanted to do like rock climbing and stuff like that. That'd be like the perfect backyard to get right there, that lot. And uh, mine's going to be right over here on the right. Yep, that's going to be where my new house is. It's just not being built yet. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so. Uh, what was I trying to say? So. I started pouring through all those videos on YouTube and I actually, you know started uh, following a lot of the guys and gals who were moto vlogging about their motorcycles and their their experiences and whatnot whoa that was a bigger bump than i thought 
and it just really got to me. I really wanted to finally get one, just so I could say I at least have one. And, um, hey, how's it going? I had to do a lot of research, not just into, uh, like, the reliability, but also the fun factor. I noticed a lot of the people tend to say that you grow, you outgrow your starter bike. So whether you're getting it because it's all you can afford or whether you're getting it because you don't want to kill yourself right off the bat, you want to learn how to ride first, um, starter bikes tend to, to leave you wanting after you get used to them. And so that's when people usually graduate up to bigger bikes. So I wanted to make sure, especially if I'm going to be on a tight budget of a college student, that you know I can get something that is going to bring me happiness for a while and so I almost got a YZF R3 I almost got the Yamaha YZF R3 I happened to see one at one of the local dealerships and I actually really really liked it I thought it looked really cool but uh, ultimately I ended up not going with it and I'm really glad I did because when I discovered the KTM RC390 um, not too many people had them it was one of those bikes that was often overlooked either because of the price point, it was a little bit more expensive. Uh oh, I'm stalling my bike. Hello. <laughs> Anyways. Or it was like an in-between kind of bike where it was really expensive for the area that it was trying to fill in. So I wasn't sure which one to get but after enough reviews i finally fell in love with the ktm rc390 and i happened to get one for a really good price uh here in the valley i wanted to try and support some local businesses so this bike was the perfect fit for me um i don't feel like i'm going to be outgrowing it anytime soon i know it's not as fast as a lot of those other bikes especially like the the leader bikes which everyone takes on the freeways and you know you can get going up to well over 100 miles an hour on um I don't really need that. I don't want to get a ticket or get arrested or <laughs> anything like that. Really what I want to do is just have something I can have fun on. And that this bike definitely fits that bill. So um, I think it was probably the best first bike for me. Uh, a lot of it just comes down to, you know, what your personal preference is. Also what you can afford. And so this bike, I've already started tinkering on it. You've probably seen some of my other videos where I tell you how to make your own tail tidy. And then also how to open up the stock intake box. The bottom line is just that this bike was the perfect fit for me. You know, I also had to factor in the insurance cost, the cost of maintenance, um, fuel consumption. You know, what I was looking for at the end of the day was something I could have fun on that wasn't going to cost an arm and a leg um, even to run it. But, you know, that's what you got to do when you're, if you're right now sitting down looking at bike reviews online and you're trying to figure out what to get, don't worry too much about uh, whether or not it's going to have enough horsepower for you. Obviously, if it's going to have a lot of horsepower, you know, you're going to have to learn how to, uh, how to operate the throttle safely. But you can, like, you can go with a, with a 650. Or, or even a 600, which I know 600 sounds like a smaller engine than the 650, but the 650s are geared more for uh, low-end torque and, you know, city cruising as opposed to an actual super sport. 600 is, is uh, generally the, the CC size for a super sport. And then from there you've got, you know, the 800s, 900s, 1000s, and, and even bigger than that. So sit down, think about what you really want out of the bike. You may have to wait and save up for one of the bigger bikes if that's what you want to start out on and you think you're mature enough to do it. Also factor in, you know... Friendly target identified. <laughs> you just popped a wheelie. Nice. Hey, whoever you are, if you're watching this video and you know that was you, please drop me a line down in the comments. That was awesome. <laughs> Uh, anyways, are you going to be able to finance it or are you going to have to buy it outright? I had to buy mine outright because I didn't have a job at that particular time. And so I needed to be able to basically just buy the, the bike in cash and not finance it. And uh, like I said earlier, I did get a really good deal on this bike. So a big thank you to Nash Power Sports Scottsdale. Uh, they're located at uh, 
7340 East McDowell Road in Scottsdale. You can check out their inventory on their website at nashpowersportscottsdale.com or give them a ring at 480-970-4800. I had a nice, pleasant, and smooth purchase experience from them. I would definitely recommend them to anybody else in the area who's looking to get on a bike. <laughs> now what in the heck is going on here? What in darnation? Oh, they're watering the... Okay, I got it. I gotcha. Well, folks, that's my time. My name's Faridin. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel and watching my videos. I got some more coming, so please stay tuned. Feel free to leave a comment, a like, and please subscribe to my channel so I know I'm doing a good job and you guys are watching and enjoying it. I appreciate all your views and I appreciate any comments, likes, feedback you guys have, so please keep them coming. Thank you so much. Ride safe, guys and gals, and have fun.